And let's be honest, Carl, when we talk about seafood, if you take a white filet of any fish that's white, no skin, no head, take the bones out and just put a white filet on, on a plate, non-cooked, I gotta tell you, not many people know what it is. Not many chefs know what it is either. Mm -hmm. So it's easy, it's easy for these big packers from these other countries to come in and just sell you a bunch of frozen white fillets and call it something that it's not. And of course, it's not the chef's fault at this point. The chef thinks he's buying something and the company's downright lied. And this happens a lot more than you think. Well, who, when people say, well, these companies would never lie. These companies, when they can make another dollar, dollar fifty a pound, two bucks a pound, whatever it is, when they can make even 50 cents a pound more, and you're selling tons and tons and tons of a product, it makes a huge difference. So to be sort of technically off a little bit, some of these companies don't care. Mm. Um, they do it to, to their advantage financially, and they get busted. When they do get busted, they pay heavy, heavy fines. An example of, another example, Carl, is like trade names of fish. Mm -hmm. So on the West Coast in California, you have something that's called Pacific Rockfish. Well, there's no such, such Pacific Rockfish in general. It's just a trade name. A name was devised to say, okay, here's 12 different species of fish that we really, that the, we really can't sell. So let's lump them all together. They're kind of similar. They're white flesh. They're kind of similar. Let's call them Pacific Rockfish because people will buy rockfish. And that's exactly what happens. So when you're buying rockfish, you have no idea what species you're buying because technically the trade name allows, it's not the scientific name, the trade name allows all those different species to be lumped into one. They're bycatch fish, they're fish that would never sell. They have, they have funny names like Chilean sea bass is Patagonian toothfish. You never go to a restaurant and say, I want Patagonian toothfish no, filet I you don't, right? with a beurre blanc sauce and a side of mashed potatoes. No, you say, oh, I'll take the Chilean sea bass. Because bass, again, goes back to marketing. It's a buzzword. So they were legally allowed to make this trade name called Chilean sea bass as a marketing, marketing ploy to say, let's sell a fish that's unsellable. Let's not show them what it looks like. If they see what it looks like, they won't like it at all. And it's an ugly fish. And by the way, it's... It's gotten a lot of criticism through the 90s and through 2000s about being a very unsustainable fish or being overfished. And there's a lot of issues with it. The population has come back in certain pockets. It's an expensive fish and I don't think it's really worth the price, whether it's sustainable or not. So I've never served it.